Hey YouTube. Um, so this is a quick video about my 3D printers. Um, I have just bought a FlashForge Finder, which is what you see in front of you. There's not many reviews of these. Uh, there's not many at all online about this printer as it goes. Uh, the FlashForge Creator, Creator Pro, um, even Dreamer, I think it is. Um, I've seen loads about those, um, the, you know, the dual extruder ones, but not much at all about just the plain old Finder. Now it's, it's a relatively small bed, um, so build space in general, 14 centimeters squared, uh, cubed should I say. Um, this is actually a bit bigger, this is probably about 16 maybe, um, so I'm not sure what would happen if you do it bigger or if the, depending on uh, what slicing software you're using, if you can just make it bigger and what happens with the nozzle etc. Um, anyway, this is just a load of scrap plastic as it comes out. Uh, the prints will go really well, um, let's have a look what we've got. Um, you can have this is uh, this is the first print I tried. Um, nice base. This was from the raft, um, which I kind of trimmed off. In fact, is the raft off? I think a bit of the raft is still there, um, but the base was nice and solid. Um, basically, it's just a lion. It's actually it was actually on the printer when I bought it, um, so I didn't know what it was going to print out, but you know, quality is good. And the printer, considering I did no settings, not bad at all. There's a little bit funkiness there, if you can just see it, just along that bit there, along that edge, I'm not sure if that's where each layer started or what, um, or the shell needs to be a bit thicker, but it's not bad at all, um, I'd like to find a way of post-processing it, um, maybe try some sanding, going from a, a coarse grit down to a finer grit, and see if I can get rid of it, because as you can see, it looks quite shiny, that's basically the light refracting off individual layers, um, and from this, you know, you can't ver really tell the layers, um, I think it might be 0.2 millimeter, but that's just a guess um, because I did print something first. It was a 0.1 millimeter. Um, it went wrong because it didn't stick, so it slid sideways. But it actually looks so much finer. Um, this is something I printed yesterday, um, just because it's boring not having it printing. Um, and and you see, it's just a little frog. Uh, I didn't know what it was going to turn out because it wasn't my file. Um, and uh, this. Um, print out really nicely, you see the text if I can, uh, if it will focus there there you go, see the text is very very nice um, so i uh, definitely happy about that, I'll just try and focus a bit there, yeah, um, there you go um, text came out nicely there um, yeah, so everything's not going too bad, um, the only thing that started happening recently was the base you can see it's all stringy so um, it's looking as though the nozzle is not close enough to the bed now I've been trying to adjust it, get it closer, and it seems to drift up a bit further for the first couple of layers. So I'm, I'm about to print another print now. It's actually a design I made. Um, and if I come over here, you might be able to actually see it. Um, let's have a look. If I go to FlashForge, I've been using FlashForge, but when I use Cura, which has a way more settings, um, it for some reason it didn't actually uh, get the temperature up. Um, the print would start, but the temperature wouldn't go up, the nozzle wouldn't heat up. So I'm not sure if it was something dodgy with just that G-code, or what. Um, but this is what I just made in Tinkercad, because I haven't learned any other CAD programs yet, so I was just doing some basics. Um, it's just a... here we are. Um, so, um, as you can see, um, this will be flipped over. Um, oh, let's go back. Uh, sorry, let's load it here a second. Oh, that's why it was a G-code. Let me go to the STL so you can see it. And two brush paste holder. There we go. Go to that one. Put it on the platform. Uh, so there, you can see. So basically, um, that bit there will have two toothbrushes. It's just me and my girlfriend is. So that's fine. That one, I get the toothpaste. Uh, I've done all the measurements and stuff. Everything should hold. They will come down, and the bottoms of it can slot into those bits. Then, if you see these circles just there, there, and there, they're basically uh, neodymium magnets, um, which I have. Sorry, everything's a mess right now. Um, there you go. Just some neodymium magnets, very strong, which I'll put in all three of those, glue them in, and then it will stick to my bathroom cabinet I have, which is metal. Um, and it will just uh, hang there and we can drop our two brushes in there. Um, got a little cut for them at the moment and there's no need really for this but why not do it because 3D printing is awesome. 
Um, so that's my the Flash Forge, sorry, Flash Forge Finder. Um, I've got one other printer, um, Alexa. Alexa, trigger floor lights. Sending that to if. I right, let her turn those lights on a sec. Um, so, so I've got some lights on now, so you can see over. Oh well, that hasn't brightened this place up too much more. Um, but yeah, this is my rep wrap, um, Prusa i3, and uh, I had some problems with this one. I haven't got it to be able to print proper print yet. All of them mucked up. Um, that's an example of one. Um, it just um, and see it starts, and basically it was just kind of under extruding. Although there it looks like it's over extruding, but that's because it just went all funny. But anyway, um, I couldn't get the extruding to work properly. Um, and it looked as though, well, from the sounds of it, the motor, the extruder motor was kind of thunking, like, doop, 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 like this. Um, and as far as I know, it shouldn't be that loud. So what I've read from somebody else who's got the same thing is that he um, adjusted the potentiometer of that motor, which I think is that little kind of silver pin in the middle there. I think it might be that one or that one. Maybe the one on the end for that one, which I think is the uh, the part, the potentiometer, um, just that slightly, so a bit more power is going to it. And he started working fine after that. Um, so I'll give that a go again when I get around to it. Because obviously, this has got a bigger build platform, and as far as I know, Brewster i3s um, generally do some amazing prints uh, if you get it calibrated right. This is a really cheap one, though. Anyway, my girlfriend bought me, and then I was sick of it not working at first, and that's why I bought this one. Um, anyway, I'm about to do a print now and try and adjust the nozzle. Um, just as it's starting, so I'll get as close as possible to the bed and hopefully it will put down those first layers a lot better. Um, so I'll try and bring some more videos of uh, some 3D printing. So stick with me, um, definitely get some next prints. Any suggestions for prints, tell me. Um, I need to learn some CAD programs so I can start designing proper stuff. Um, I'd love to use Sculptress more so I can actually do like clay work, online clay work, should I say, be able to print those models off. Um, I'd love to print a huge dragon head that can go on the wall or something. We we'll have to be printed in parts, especially if I'm using this little bed here. Anyway, um, the Flash Force Finder is working out great. Um, I'll do an overview of the screen and everything in the next video because um, there isn't enough about this printer. So please come back for the next one. See you later. Bye.